My name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving problems dealing with percentages. We are on page number 29. Please turn to it, page number 29. We are about to solve the sample problems that you see. There are 10 of them on page number 29. Before we begin the work, there are 10 problems there, 10 sample problems that you can, as you can clearly see there. 10 problems, in my opinion, it's not, it's not enough. It's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's not nowhere close to what you need in terms of practicing, uh, in terms of practice that you need in order to feel comfortable with these problems. If you need some more practice, if you feel the same way, if you feel that you need more practice, you need, more, uh, you need to work on some more problems, you can watch T's math, just type in T's math, day 13 or 14 or 15, on those three days you will find problems that are very similar to what we are doing right now. The math on the T's, as you know, is very similar to what you will encounter on HESI. In addition to those three videos, if you go to this basic series math, in the series of basic math, you will find percentage problems from day number 31 through 40 and from 51 through 65 you will find problems dealing with the notion of percentages uh, to decimals to, uh, to fractions the conversions back and forth let's get going number sample problem number one sample problems number one we've been asked to convert to change from decimals to percent decimal to percent the very first one they give us is 0 0.98 0 0.98 how do we go about it how do we go about it I don't want you to memorize anything I don't want you to memorize anything that's not how you learn that's not how one learns I want you to understand the concept if somebody gives you a decimal and asks you to convert to a percentage how do you go about it in order for you to be able to answer that question, look for the simplest possible scenario. Let's look for the simplest possible scenario to which you already know the answer. For example, for example, everybody knows that 0.5 is 50 percent. 0.5 is 50 percent. The question is, how do I go from 0.5, which is expressed in decimal, to percent? It's very simple. You take your 0.5, and if you want to convert it into a 50, you're going to have to multiply it by 100. If you multiply 0 0.5 by 100, 0 0.5 by 100, I should have left some room here. Let's do it right here, times 100. If you multiply by 100, what you do is, because it has, because it has two zeros here, because we're multiplying by 100, which is one zero and two zeros, we take our decimal, pick it up, and move it two spots, one and two. The decimal point ends up here. And in this spot right here, we'll have to stick a zero. You see, 0 0.5 becomes 0.5 times 100 becomes 50. 0.5 times 100 becomes 50. Similarly, so one more time, 0.5 expressed as a percentage, you simply take your 0.5, multiply by 100, and that's how many percent you have. That's how many percent you have. 0.5 times 100 is 50, so it becomes 50%. Similarly, 0.25 we know, 0.25 we know is 25%. Where does it come from? We simply take our 0.25 and you, as soon as we multiply it by 100, that's, that's your percent. Again, 0.25 times 100, you're going to take our decimal and move it two places. One, two, it's going to end up here. So it becomes 25%. Point 0.25 times 100, which is 25, 25%. Same thing is going on here. We're just going to take that and multiply it by 100. And that converts into a percentage. We just converted 0.98 into a percentage because we multiplied by 100. And now, because we are multiplying by 100, which has two zeros here, we're going to pick up our decimal, move it two places. One, two, it's going to end up here. So it becomes 98%. 0.98 is 98%. Let's do the next one. Let's do the next one. They are all very simple, very straightforward. Oh, actually, maybe they are not all as straightforward and simple. The next one is. 0.0068 you're being asked to convert that into a percentage again same thing don't don't make a fuss about it just 
Ask yourself, how would you convert? Ask yourself, how would you convert 0.5 into a percentage? Pick up something simple. Think of something simple, something, something straightforward, something to which you already know the answer. We know 0.5 is 50 percent. How? Where does it come from? Oh, you take your 0.5 and you multiply it by 100, and it converts into a percentage. 0.5 times 100 is 50 percent. The same thing is going to do here. We have to convert this decimal. We have to convert this decimal to a percent. Multiply by 100, and there you go. That's your answer. There is your answer. That's the percentage. We just have to figure out what that is. 0 0.0068 times 100. What is it? Well, let's find out. It's very simple, very straightforward. Because of the fact that it has two zeros here, one and two, we're going to pick up our decimal and move it two places. One and two. It's going to end up right here. So it becomes the decimal is going to end up right here. So it becomes so this this zero goes away. That zero goes away. It's going to 0.68. It's going to become. 0.68. We put this zero just for emphasis. That zero is just just for purpose. This is just 0.68 percent. That's your answer. 0 0.0068 when expressed in percent becomes 0.68 percent. Let's do the next one. Number three. Number three. I don't know where the hell I am right now. 0 0.09. Oh, there you go. There's another one. Let's do it here. Number three. 0 0.09 we are being asked to convert this decimal into a percent just like we were asked to convert 0.5 into a decimal uh, that, that decimal 0.5 into a percent we converted 0.5 into a percent by multiplying it by 100 0.5 times 100 is 50 percent same thing here we're going to multiply it by 100 and as soon as we do that it becomes a percentage it becomes a percentage and now we simply have to ask ourselves how do we multiply 0 0.09 times 100 it's very simple. Pick up the decimal point, move it two spots. One, two. It's going to end up here. The decimal place is going to end up right after the nine. So it becomes, it becomes nine percent. It becomes nine percent. Let's do next one. Number four. Number four. In number four, we're being asked to convert percentage to a decimal. All right, percentage to a decimal. It's a different one. So we're done. We're done converting from decimal to percentage. Now they're asking us to do the reverse, from percentage to decimal. From, from percent to decimal. And the first one is, again, Ask yourself something simple before you start doing the problem. Ask yourself something simple. From percent, how about from 25 percent? How would you convert? How would you convert 25 percent into a decimal? Well, it's very simple, very straightforward. We learned it yesterday. What does the word percent mean? What does the word percent? Well, oh, I didn't write it down. First, what does the word? What does the word percent mean? Percent means. Percent means exactly what it says. Percent means exactly what it says. It means per 100. Per 100. Percent means out of 100. So 25%, 25% means 25 out of 100. 25 out of 100, as you know, is simply 0.25. Similarly, if you were to ask, if you were, if you, if you were to ask to, to convert a, 50% 50% into decimal now 50% is very simple the same as 50 over 100 which is simply 0.5 in decimal if you were to convert ask to convert 90% into decimal that's simply 90 out of 100 which is equal to 0.9 now let's do the problem that are in the book the very first one they give us number 4 Number four is 58%, which is not a big deal. 58% is simply 58 out of 100. 58 out of 100, 58 divided by 100. We're simply going to take up our decimal place, which is right here, and move it two places. One, two. It's going to end up here. It becomes 0 0.58. Let's do the next one. Number five. Number five. 76.3 percent we are asked 76.3 percent 76.3 percent same thing 76.3 percent means 76.3 divided by 100 
How do we divide it by 100? It's very simple. Move the decimal to the left. Two spots. Why two spots? Because we're dividing by a quantity with two zeros in it. Two spots. One, two. It's going to end up here. It's going to end up here. So it ends up being the decimal place which used to be here will end up here. It becomes 0 0.763. 0 0.763 is same as 76.3 percent. Let's do one more. Number six. Number six is 0 0.03 percent. 0 0.03 percent. Let's find out. 0 0.03 percent. Don't, don't make a fuss about it. Don't make a fuss about it. Keep it simple. Keep it logical. Understand the concept. Percent means out of 100. So this thing when written as a fraction it is same as 0 0.03 out of 100. Out of 100. What happens to the decimal? It's going to move. It's going to move to the left just like here. One and two. It moves. It's going to move two places. It's going to move two places. Let's do it here so we have the room. So when you pick up your 0 0.03 and you move the decimal two places to the left, what do you suppose is going to happen? We're going to pick it up and move it to the left. One and two. It's going to end up here. It's going to end up here. Here's our zero in the, in the leading zero. Then we're going to have to add one more zero to it. It becomes, therefore this becomes right here, 0 0.0003. 0 0.0003. Is same as 0 0.0003 decimal quantity is same as 0.03 percent. 0.03 percent. The seven, eight, and nine, seven, eight, nine, and ten that you see there, that's where we're being asked to convert fractions to percent. We'll do those tomorrow. We'll do those tomorrow because they involve they involve the sixth and the eighth, and they're going to take some time. Okay. Bye now.